right guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is anna and today i have another beautiful display of crystals that are already posted and on my etsy shop so i'm not going to mumble too much let's get started so i'm going to start my way from the left make my way to the right if there are any questions comments concerns please leave them down below in the comment section so let's start off here as you can tell i have a beautiful set of amethyst different clusters that i have up on my shop so let's get started with the first one so this is a beautiful very very light amethyst cluster how gorgeous is this i absolutely love this cluster this was actually a personal piece that i ended up deciding to post just because honestly now that i'm a seller i've gotten so much different amethyst in so i've decided to part with this piece but this is such a beauty and such a stunner and she just sparkles all over and i love that it's this almost light to clear amethyst so usually you'll see dark kind of mid-range purple amethyst color but i love that this has this very almost very very light purple to white color on it i've never seen something like that before i personally myself now am starting to gravitate towards more darker purples so this is why i decided to post this baby up it used to be my personal piece but i decided to post it up because now i'm just gravitating towards more of a deeper richer purple color but i love this this beautiful light purple to almost gray color i think is so stunning and then the next cluster I have is definitely more of getting to the deeper side of the purple. So again, it is a very light purple, but such a beautiful cluster. I love that it just has these beautiful, big, defined points. As you can tell on that smaller piece, the points were very small and fine, but I love that this piece has these beautiful, bigger points and just, oh, crystals all around. So it is rough on the backside, but on the sides of it and on the top of it, I think it is just so beautiful and so gorgeous. And I love this color. I just love that it's almost like um, like a really light purple, but almost pink when you put it up to the light. I just think it is so beautiful. And the next piece, we have another beautiful light amethyst cluster. Again, these beautiful, big, defined points I am obsessed with. I do like the smaller points, but these big ones just speak to me i love these big points i love that they're so defined and again raw on the back side but how gorgeous is this piece this definitely is a bit of a darker purple so those first two were definitely on the lighter side this is kind of like a medium purple color how gorgeous and then the next one also is just kind of like that medium color with a few inclusions in it how gorgeous so this is a bigger one i think this is the biggest one i have at the moment and again these are all already posted on my etsy shop if any of you guys are interested or just wanted to look i love showing these crystals to you guys i just think they are so beautiful how gorgeous and again raw on the back but very beautiful polished and defined big points i love these clusters because I love the big points. When I got a lot of amethyst, when I first started buying amethyst myself, I noticed that a lot of sellers had smaller clusters with very defined points. So for example, this is an amethyst as well, but it see you see how it has like just very small points, not very big points. So I love that those have really big points. So then the next thing we have are these beautiful agate slices. And as I mentioned, if you watched my first video, these are the thinner ones. I did mention that I got thinner ones in as well. And these are the thinner ones and have this kind of gold detailing on the side. So I love that. I think they're just so nice. Again, a little nice either coaster or dish to use for your jewelry. And it's just got different colors. So this one is more of a lighter blue. And then I have one that's more of a darker blue, again, with that gold trimming, which I think is just so beautiful. And then I have a darker piece, again, with that beautiful gold trimming. Very gorgeous. I love that. I think that is so nice. And then the next thing I have are these beautiful pink oval tumble sets. So this is beautiful pink opal. 
how gorgeous when I first started collecting pink opals I started out with tumbles myself so I decided to get just a few more because I thought they were so cute and it is a bit more rare to find them in a free form in a tower in anything like that usually you will see pink opals more in tumble sets is what you usually see you don't usually see free forms towers things like that but I think pink opal is becoming a lot more popular so you are seeing more eggs more towers things like that now but I remember when I was first starting out a lot of sellers only had the tumbles so that's one set I have another set as well and here's another set of them I just think they are so cute and I started out with pink tumbles so I just thought why not? Why not bring some to you guys? And again, if I do see eggs, free forms, things like that, I would definitely try to get my hands on them. But I have only really seen the tumbles mostly. But I will try my best. Ooh, it's a little loud. And the next thing I have down here are these beautiful clear quartz half polished pieces. Now, how gorgeous are these? I just think these are so stunning. These are great for gritting, anything like that, if you had in mind. I just think these are so beautiful. I love that they are top polished, but then at the bottom, it's more raw. So it doesn't stand. It will lay flat like this. It will not stand, but I do think they are so stunning and really great if you want to create a beautiful grid or something like that. And then here's the other piece. And I just love how you can see the clarity right through it. I think it is just so beautiful. I think I love these. I love these like half polished, half raw pieces. I just think they are so gorgeous to look at. So I have those in my shop. And then let's get to some of my favorites. So you guys know I love amethyst. I love amethyst in all shapes, forms. <laughs> so I ended up getting a lot of these beautiful galaxy amethysts. Now galaxy amethysts come in a variety of different colors. And you will see the reason I ended up getting them is because they sparkle and shine so much. They are so beautiful and I love that they come in every different type of color. You can get them in pinks, in purples, in blues, in yellows, in just like any type of color you can think of because again it is called Rainbow Galaxy Amethyst. So this is a beautiful beige lighter colored piece which I think is so stunning. Then we have more of like a deeper purple almost black so very true to the amethyst itself right because amethyst is usually mostly purple more of like you know a scale from light purple to dark purple so i love that this is very true to an amethyst color how gorgeous is that you guys i am obsessed with how these pieces shine they are so stunning and then i have this beautiful green one how gorgeous if it would focus come on there we go a beautiful green piece almost matches the sweater I'm wearing actually almost exact match that is crazy how beautiful is that love this piece I think it is so gorgeous so stunning and I love that it has some like growths at the top as well it's not just a flat piece I that love that it has a lot of texture to it and the next one is more of like a lighter I don't even know what you call this it's definitely not like a yellow it's more of like a lighter mix of both white and yellow and this one sparkles so much and what i love about these pieces is that they sparkle both in the sun but as well as if it's dark so you don't necessarily need sunlight to see its beauty like let me see if i can i don't know i was gonna try to like cover it and show you but well there you go yeah you could see it a little See, it sparkles both in the sun and in the dark so that's what i really love about these pieces is that it's not something that's only going to get its shine when it's light out like you can really see it sparkle throughout the day which i think is so beautiful and then the next one is another really sparkly piece really true to amethyst it's kind of a very dark deep purple but then it has kind of like these lighter purples at the side which i think is so beautiful and i don't think i've mentioned it so they are all raw at the back so they're the raw stone in the back but the galaxy amethyst in the front and how gorgeous is this piece i love this i think it is so stunning so sparkly it's just the videos don't even do it justice they are insane when you actually see them in person and then the next one i have is more of like a pink tone one how gorgeous is this oh you guys 
You guys know I love my amethyst, but you guys also know that I love pink amethyst. Now again, this is not considered pink amethyst. This is galaxy amethyst, but it pretty much almost looks like pink amethyst. <laughs> if you look at it, I just think it is so beautiful, so stunning. Oh, it's just such a gorgeous piece. I love these galaxy amethysts. They are just so beautiful, so gorgeous. And then the last galaxy amethyst piece I have is definitely more of a gray and black toned one. Now I know a lot of people like black amethyst. So this is a bit kind of close to it. It is more of like a black gray and then it has kind of like this beige inclusion in it. But the majority of it right here around is more of a black galaxy amethyst, which I think is so beautiful and so stunning. How gorgeous is this piece, you guys? And again, raw at the back but super druzy and sparkly in the front. And that is what I love about these pieces. So I did end up getting a whole lot of them because I just, I thought they were so gorgeous. It's like, I can't only just get one or two pieces to have. Cause usually again, I am a beginner seller. So I don't have like 10, 15 pieces of each item. I usually try to buy three to five of everything, right? But this, I bought a whole flat of them because I just thought it was so cute. But I don't try to buy too much of the same thing because I'm just getting started. So I'm trying to see what you guys like, what you want to see, what sells, and that's basically what I end up buying. So then the next item, oh, and this beauty, I really hope it does show for you guys. So this is a beautiful Labradorite sphere. And you guys, the flash on this, let me find it for you guys. Where are you? It's so hard to get the flash in natural light. Hold on, let me try to find it for you guys. Oh, there it is, okay. So, I don't know how well you can see this, but there is such a beautiful kind of like almost lavender, purple, almost white flash here that I wish you can, there we go. If I cover it a little, can kind of see it, let's see. Sorry guys, I'm trying to fight the sunlight to really show you guys. There you go, you can kind of see the flash now. The light was kind of washing it out, but this has a beautiful flash and this sphere is humongous. I believe it is almost 80 millimeters or almost like 100. This is such a huge sphere. Oh, there we go. There she goes. Do you guys see that beautiful flash? It's like a yellow, almost like this white silver flash. It goes all through here. It is so beautiful. Oh, I love this sphere. It is huge. And then I have a baby one that's about 40 millimeters. And also just really, do you guys see that? That kind of like yellow flash. Just has some really amazing flash. Now the flash doesn't really want to show in the sun. It's not doing too well. You gotta have to see it more in the dark. If you see it right there, there's a beautiful flash. I just love Labdurite. I think it is so stunning, so beautiful. And I hate that these videos aren't doing it justice because we are filming in the daylight. Well, in the natural sunlight, as you can tell, my window is right there. So it's kind of hard to pick up these flash, but I promise you these all have some absolutely amazing flashes on them. Then the next thing we have are these beautiful mukai eggs. And I absolutely love this one. This one is a beautiful kind of mauve color with some light yellow and brown inclusions. And I absolutely love that it is polished, but you also get like the natural little caves that it has in it. I think that is so beautiful. I'd love to see that in the crystals and stones that I get because you just see like the natural rock itself. It's not just all polished. And then I also have another beautiful mukite that has more of like a richer red to it. But again, with these beautiful kind of like brown and yellow inclusions, as well as these natural little caves all around. I absolutely love that. And then the next thing we have is a beautiful cluster with a ton of different inclusions. This bad boy is so stunning. I am so obsessed. I ended up keeping one of these pieces for myself and then I posted this piece. Look how gorgeous that is, you guys. It is so stunning. This beautiful clear quartz cluster with these inclusions, I think is just so beautiful and it sparkles so much when the light hits it. So again, it is raw at the bottom and just beautifully, like just such beautiful and defined points at the top that I fell in love with this piece. I had to get this for my shop. I just thought it was so gorgeous. I love this. 
And the next item I have is a few raw fluorite pieces that are so beautiful. And if you do hold the light up in between them, right? So if you do hold like a flashlight, I don't have one right now with me and it is daylight, so I can't really show you too well. But if you do hold up a flashlight to it, the mix of the green and orange do make it a beautiful blue color, which I think is so stunning. So I do have a bit of a bigger piece. And these are beautiful raw pieces, so they are not polished, as you can tell. They are super raw, which I absolutely love. And I love this piece because it almost reminds me of like mountain tops. Like you see the little tops and it almost like reminds you of beautiful mountain tops. And then I have this beautiful piece that is just kind of like a chunk that has purple on the sides and then this beautiful green striping towards the middle. I just think is so beautiful you guys know me i love my fluorite so i love it in any type of form i love towers i love spheres i love raw pieces polished pieces anything fluorite i just gravitate towards and then the next thing i have are these beautiful black moonstone now how gorgeous is this so not to get confused with rainbow moonstone right because rainbow moonstone is mainly white and has these beautiful blue flashes but this is black moonstone which also has a ton of shimmer to it. Let me see if I can, there we go. If you guys can see right here, this piece right there has a good amount of shimmer to it. I just love these. I think these are so gorgeous. And once it hits the right light, if you can see right here, it has this beautiful flash to it. I just, I love black moonstone. I think it is such a beautiful stone and it's funny because i never bought this on my own but now that i'm a seller i'm getting introduced to so many new crystals that i haven't got before so how beautiful are these and this is black moonstone i think it is so gorgeous these palms are outstanding they really all have a good amount of flash on them i really try to get ones that have nice flash and then the next clusters i have are these beautiful blue chalcedony aura clusters and how gorgeous are these guys when i first posted these these all sold out so quick i think within the hour when i posted them they sold out so of course i had to get more and let me show you guys these kind of up close and personal so you can see more details so if it would focus there we go how gorgeous is this so this is aura coated but it is so stunning and so beautiful to see the variation it's kind of like even hard to focus in on it but how gorgeous is this piece? And these bags, look at these backs. So they aren't aura coated, this is natural, but how gorgeous are like even the back sides of them, I think, are so beautiful. But that front side, that aura and that blue, oof, it's just so beautiful. And here is the next piece. Again, the beautiful aura side. And the back side. And then the last piece beautiful aura side and the back side i just think those are so beautiful i love the different variation i love that it's patterned so differently it just looks so gorgeous and so stunning and especially when you get it and what i love about those clusters is that even in the morning at nighttime they sparkle so much because they are aura coated it's just oh, such beautiful pieces. If you do not have one of those pieces in your collection, I highly, highly, highly would recommend them. Then the next pieces I'm going to be showing you guys are some beautiful Druzy agates. And you guys, I have not seen something like this in all of the sellers that I've shopped from before. I haven't seen too many people get Druzy agates. I don't know if not too many people are attracted to Druzy or if they aren't. I personally myself really am. I love Druzy's. Now you guys, are you ready for these? These are so stunning. Let me try to get it to focus. You guys, these are just full of these beautiful, druzy, sparkly crystals inside. I can't. Like when I saw them, I was like, oh my god, I have to get these for my shop. Of course I got some for myself, of course I set some aside for myself, but when I saw these in person, oof. You know, it's one thing when you see something online right like if you see a video of it if you see some pictures of it but when you actually get these pictures i mean not these pictures sorry when you actually get these crystals in person they are so stunning that the pictures videos don't even do it any 
justice because they are just so beautiful when you finally get them and you're viewing them with your eye it's just oh so amazing honestly i am obsessed obsessed with these beautiful druzy agates there we go look at this one you guys oh this has a massive cave and it is so stunning i love it so beautiful and the next piece is really a stunner because it's really like a deep cave Let's see if she will focus there we go now this one's kind of hard even when i was trying to post this online for you guys like on my etsy shop and stuff it was kind of really hard to get the druzies in it there we go and it is just druzy all around this thing is insane so you can kind of see on the edge here it's kind of really to see it because again it's all about the lighting let me see there we go but it's just do you guys see that it is just sparkly all over like all over on each side towards the back it is just so beautiful all over and again this is the raw side of it that beautiful polished side with that druzy pocket is so amazing and then the last two pieces i have actually here is another one that is not a cave it's more of kind of an open front to it so you can really see that beautiful druzy you guys i am obsessed with these i ended up keeping like three or four of these for myself because <laughs> i just think they are honestly so beautiful it's like how can you not they're just oh amazing beautiful i absolutely love these pieces and then this last one is a smaller one but again that druzy that beautiful opening is so insane how gorgeous it's almost like night and day when you see the front and then you see the back because from the back it doesn't look like an interesting stone at all but then from the front definitely a beauty so beautiful it's even hard to focus <laughs> oh so gorgeous i love these pieces and then the next item i have are beautiful pink amethyst set now you guys know you know i love my pink amethyst i am also trying my best to get my hands on more pink amethyst for you guys because i know just as much as i love them you guys love them so i have this set as well just a beautiful set of these three clusters so this one is more of a lighter cluster and then the other two in the set are more of a darker cluster that I just think are so beautiful. So this is a beautiful pink amethyst set. Now they aren't big, they aren't big pieces, they are about like the size of my finger but they are really nice. And the last few pieces I do have in these cases and these are not anything too expensive or anything too ridiculous, they are just in cases to be you know just a little bit fancier or something like that you know just a bit of a display piece so to my right i have a beautiful desert rose piece and then on the left is just a beautiful juicy agate piece and i have a ton of these that i'm gonna post throughout the next couple weeks these are not my only ones i have a lot of different ones and then i have a beautiful pyrite piece on the right Let's see if she will focus there we go. A pyrite piece, as well as a beautiful piece of azurite. And again, if you guys saw one of my previous videos, I do have azurite and malachite mix, but this is just a beautiful piece of raw azurite, and I'm so sorry, but this, for the life of me, does not really want to focus on the piece. There we go. So I have these little pieces. I have a few of them. I have a lot of them, actually, not a few of them. I have a lot that I will be posting throughout the next couple weeks. And then the last two items I have are these beautiful ammonite shells. I absolutely love ammonite, anything that has to do with the sea, sea life, the ocean, I just absolutely love. So I really gravitate towards like shells and ammonites because I just, they're so stunning. I mean, how gorgeous. And these have little dandrites on them. They're just so beautiful. If you guys are obsessed with like the sea and seashells, this is definitely a must to add to your collection. I just think they are so beautiful and so unique. And that is all that I have for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, please leave them down below. Until next time, bye guys.